So the Kerry Nairn Scholarship, for those of you who don't know, um, the, the Scholarship for Public Speaking was established in 2006. This was a year after the passing of a much loved and respected member of our association. The scholarship was developed as a lasting legacy in recognition of her contribution to this association, her community, her clients, and her many friends, many of whom are still in this room. Initially, we had generous funding from the Victorian government and that allowed us to deliver six fantastic scholarships. And then, as it happens, government changed. And so the association stepped up. And since then, the scholarship has been funded, um, including elements from the association, and some individual sponsorships from some very generous members. We're grateful to all our sponsors who have continued to step up for us this year, including Alan Parker CSP, Catherine Palin Brinkworth CSP, Colin James and Leanne Christie. I'd also like to thank the two ladies who were involved in the commencement of the scholarship, Anne Richards and Anne Villiers, and it's lovely to see Anne Richards here tonight. <laughs> I know that, uh, Anne, you put a lot of work into the original scholarship and I'm delighted for you and for Kerry and the rest of her family that it continues. I'd also like to make special mention every year there is a CSP mentor who steps up and gives generously of their time, their knowledge, their love and occasionally puts the scholar back together after they've been burst apart by all of the brilliant knowledge that they've been taken on. So you all know who you are. We don't mention you. It's part of this fantastic association that we constantly have people who just step up and help people who are on the same journey and I, that's one of the things that I love about this place and this organisation. Um, as the chair of the scholarship since 2011, I'd also like to acknowledge the assessment committee. Um, only one of them, I think, has ever abandoned me and, and has been replaced and, and they are so professional, they work hard. I nearly always put them into, under great pressure at, at, in a last minute rush and I really appreciate your professionalism and your commitment to making sure that we get the best possible scholars. Reflecting Kerry's passion for our industry and the association, the scholarship has four pillars. Personal and professional development as a speaker. Supporting community-based or NFP organisations, something that was always very close to Kerry's heart. Contributing to the speaking industry and very importantly and close to the, the, um, the group's heart in terms of the, uh, the assessment committee. Being an ambassador for and actively participating and contributing to PSA. Our nine scholars so far, and listen as you listen to these names, think about how many of them you now know as being very successful in their fields. 2006, Jennifer Harwood. 2007, Alicia Curtis. 2008, Dale Elliott. 2009, Jason Fox, who I saw floating around earlier. So, welcome, Jason. 2010, Steve Francis, who uh, is here and has done wonderful things for the association since. 2011, Sonia Falvo. 2012, Neryl East, who you heard last night as one of the defining moments. Thanks, thank you, Neryl. 2013, Lockie Cook, who can't be with us because I think he's somewhere overseas with the United Nations doing amazing things. And 2015, Daryl Green. I'm delighted to ask Daryl to come up to tell us a little bit about, to ask a... <laughs> So I, I just, just one sec, I just need to make sure that you're all very clear that this is Queensland Police Officer, Senior Sergeant, Daryl Elliott Green. From being shot in the face on duty as a police officer, to personal challenges, a 10-year battle for criminal compensation, professional challenges, becoming a firearms instructor to help me return to operational policing. I started to speak on the lessons I had learnt. I applied for the Kerry Nair Scholarship and I described myself as a rough diamond that re needed refining by master craftsmen. And that is precisely what the Kerry Nan Scholarship and its contributors do for an emerging speaker. They help refine them in the speaking element of it as well as the business element of the speaking art to help that emerging speaker 
to contribute more effectively to our profession. <clears throat> Last year, moments before the scholarship was announced, CSP Karen Smith leans across the table. You should apply for that. <laughs> well called. That's very good. I smiled. Moments later, my first piece of feedback was, you're such a little shit. <laughs> Followed by a big hug. I've employed one of the first pieces of advice from my scholarship mentor, Kevin Ryan. He said to me, He said to me, nobody has ever said to a speaker, you pause too long. <laughs> Kevin, thank you for your time, your commitment, your effort, your friendship, not just from me, but from my mum and dad as well, because you know the journey that my family has been on after that horrific night, mate. So just thank you for everything you've done. Once I received the scholarship, there was some TV news coverage, and that occurred with a little bit of assistance from Neryl East, former Karen Air Scholar. Thank you for stepping up, Neryl. From that, I was asked to speak, deliver the keynote for one of the largest forums on post-traumatic stress as it has ever been held. It's a great honour. And I was communicating with Alan Parker, and I just mentioned that in the email. And he said, oh, would you like some coaching? Who would not like coaching from Alan Parker? <laughs> it was one week out. So he said, well, let's do it over Skype. Okay, great. So, Alan and I Skyped, and he was in his hospital bed. <laughs> he was very ill with a chest infection, but wanted to give me as much information to help make a, a great speech at this amazing opportunity. That is... That is the level of commitment that the contributors, Helen, Catherine Palin Brinkwork, uh, Brad, Tony, Paul McCarthy, Colin James, this is what they give to the scholarship to help them be an amazing emerging speaker and contribute to our profession. But there's other people who also stepped up. Taryn, numerous times. Uh, Simone de Haas. Karen. <laughs> Thank you for what you've uh, been able to uh, contribute to the scholarship and me as an emerging speaker. I know the scholarship will challenge the next scholar because it challenged me. I used to start my talks with an amazing and an inspiring story. It was about the underdog taking on the industry experts. I was practically married to this story. It's the story of the Wright Brothers' Empowered Man Flight. One of my next pieces of advice from my mentor, Kevin Ryan, was, you know your opening story? I dropped that. <laughs> People want to hear from you, your knowledge, your wisdom. It was a defining moment. I swallowed, stepped back, I looked at 25 years of policing history, and I was able to find one or two stories to open with and engage my audience. <laughs> he said, after I had taken that piece of advice a few months later, I knew you would flourish as a speaker. Thanks for that fantastic advice. So for the incoming scholar, my advice to you, step out of your comfort zone. 
take advantage of all the knowledge, ideas and methodologies that's going to be offered to you and advised of you. That's where the, the growth will occur. So what are the three big things I think you get out of the Caring Air Scholarship? First of all, I would say it is refining your expertise. The second thing that makes you a much more engaging, resonating, memorable and valuable speaker, delivering great value to your audience. And the third thing that I think the Kerry Nair Scholarship does for the scholar, let me tell you a story. I learned through the scholarship, <laughs> take two computers in case one breaks down, take two shirts in case you spill coffee on one and you can quickly change. <laughs> I'm at Roma, speaking for a rotary. Early hours of the morning, I'm all prepared, I'm checking myself in the mirror, everything's fine, looking sharp. Oh, what's the... Oh. In my very expensive trousers, there is a small hole. <laughs> I'm in Roma, early hours of the morning, where am I going to get another set of trousers? It's okay, it's small. Step on stage, commence my talk. <laughs> now, one of the first things I do when I deliver a, a keynote or a workshop is I role play the shooting taking place. Do you think there might be some fast, rapid action movement? So this small hole is growing to this size, growing to an L shape. So what did I do? You've never seen more of a full frontal performance in your life. So I think the scholarship prepares the scholar to be flexible, to be calm under pressure, and despite what curveballs our industry throws at us, to deliver great value to our audience. I'd like to thank Helen, everybody involved with the uh, scholarship. It's been an amazing year. And to the incoming scholar, I wish you a... Uh, an amazing, fantastic journey ahead of you, and I look forward to talking to you tonight, and I'm going to be assisting you any way I can, as has all the members of this organisation have assisted me. Thank you. I, I, think, I think as a team we did an okay job of polishing him. What do you reckon? It is one of the true joys of being involved in the scholarship is, is all, of, all of the things that happen to people in their lives over that 12 months and beyond.